Hey everybody, Brandon Lyles here, recruiting coach manager at NCSA. Wanted to share this month's success story with you. It's a Canadian student athlete from Newfoundland, uh, committed to TCU. His name's Noah Cumby. Uh, they came on the program about a year and a half ago. Needed a lot of education. Didn't know much about the recruiting process at all. So Jeff Smith, uh, the recruiting coach for uh, our men's swimmers, helped him a lot. Had six coaching sessions with the family and uh, signed up for six recruiting classes as well. If you looked at their coach act or their activity report with NCSA, you know, we matched them up with college programs four different times. Um, they logged in close to 400 times. Um, they hit all the recruiting milestones that they needed to do, transcript, videos, routes uh, to college programs, recruiting classes, views, uh, sign up at the eligibility center. So uh, Noah and his family uh, did a ton of um, uh, work in this process, but you can hear some of the feedback that they had. I'll read a few quotes for you. He said, uh, there's so much to know. It's much easier when you have a professional to help you. Uh, parents want to make sure they're doing the best for their child. We put a lot of money into this process. And it would have been wasted if we didn't know how to navigate the NCAA. Uh, they say it was an easy way to connect with coaches opposed to uh, filling out questionnaires. And um, it was a very stressful process at times, but it's nice to have a coach kind of walk you through it. So Coach Jeff was great. He always had time for us and gave us solid advice. Our son had a few schools to choose from, and Jeff helped him make the right decision. So really cool to see that. If you follow Jeff Smith on Twitter, he gave a, a, an awesome shout-out to, to Noah. And so retweet that if you get a chance, but some details from Jeff as well. Noah is the first male swimmer to sign with TCU under the new coaching staff uh, who was hired this past summer. He had multiple official visits and offers to choose from, from relatively high Division I programs. And between his athletic and academic scholarships, he earned a full ride. So that's always awesome. And then keep an eye out for Noah in the future. Uh, he may be on the Canadian Olympic teams in 2020 and 2024. Thanks, guys. Hope this was helpful for you. Have a great month.